Hello everyone. I am so excited to share my dairy-free pesto recipe with you all. Have you ever done like a restricted diet plan and then by like day two or three you wanted to order pizza? <laughs> that is absolutely normal because your taste buds need different flavors and these flavors are so important. They're connected to your organs. So we're easing in and I, we're like day three of eating some fish and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need Italian seasoning stacked. So this is the perfect time to have the pesto. Don't deny those cravings. Don't like push them down and be like, oh, I should, I should just eat plain. No, we don't want to be plain. Um, and also I was craving tomato sauce too, but we're trying to be light on the tomato sauce um, and not have it. We're trying not to do things in autopilot, right? So a lot of us autopilot, I do too. So we're trying to do the pesto and then this beautiful heirloom tomato from the garden because it's summer right now and that's the perfect time to have tomatoes. So we're having that flavor on the side, but not as the main sauce, all right? Okay, so we have this beautiful Mr. Basil plant. So we push the, the fresh basil in here and we did two different nuts. So sometimes pine nuts are hard to find and they're getting some, they get, get pricey. So we have some walnuts and some pistachios that are salty. So you can do plain if you want, but um, then you'll wanna add a little more salt to the, to the recipe. So we'll go ahead and we'll add those. Walnuts and pistachios. Garlic, you can do fresh. We already had some already ready for us because sometimes that's just how life is. And then salt and pepper. I love saying it like that. And, <laughs> oh, oops. I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> we might be salty. I wanna put more basil in and some olive oil here. Oh, you know what else I just remembered? Lemon, a little lemon. So we're not adding Parmesan, but you get, with the extra salt, we're gonna have plenty. Um, you'll get like a little bit of a Parmesan feel. So it's not about don't eat this, don't eat that. This food is only good or inflammatory. I just want us to um, like have less, uh, like too many different, different variables. So we're then confused um, on what to cause what. So if you feel bloated after a meal and you're having dairy, wheat, soy, peanuts, and some other different foods that can be a little inflammatory, then you might not know which one affect you. So we're taking out those different um, options. Okay. All right. So a little lemon. Oh, actually I want to have lemon I'm already here for the fish. And that fish is fresh Ono. We just picked up today and we're just gonna saute it really light because I don't, because this will be really flavorful. So we'll cook that for you. I've been cooking fish for you, so I didn't want to overfish you. So a little lemon. Here. All right. Oh my gosh. machine and we just did a slicer really thin and different oils I recommend to rotate your oils also so coconut oil excuse me didn't sound good with me with this recipe but it's great at high heat avocado oil is great at high heat too of course butter and ghee um, I'm gonna try to saute them really light so I'm gonna become a master chef and do really light olive oil olive oil is great just be careful at too high of heat so I'm gonna do that a little bit more. And we're gonna just saute these just for, probably not very long, oops. Not for very long. You wanna get the heat, the oil hot or the pan hot, and then we'll just put like flash, um, flash cook these. And then toss them with the pesto. So it's gonna be our side dish, or we're gonna put that on the bottom and then uh, the fish on top, and you'll see soon, because we'll take the picture for you all. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> Bon appétit.